Guess what time it is? That's right. It's Spooky University time. <laughs> I know you'll appreciate that, Claire. Anyway, first of all, the topic is birthmarks. I don't have any birthmarks. Is that unusual? I just, I don't know. I know in a lot of birth certificates they'll put birthmark, you know, so the kid gets lost, you know, they have one. But I didn't have one. So they could never find me. Never. I'm going to interrupt this broadcast to show you what my granddaughter made. We have Cito's Cash In Trash Out. Yes, it has to do with your cash in. But she made this bag pick up trash. See the big trash can? And the trash they're picking up? Well, they had a little contest at the Cito meeting, gathering, event, and guess what? She won! The dirty mile. See? Best bag. Way to go, Nelly Bean. One Nelly Bean is my granddaughter. That should, that should be on display for always, right? <laughs> okay, back to the uh, programming. <laughs> um, so... I think sometimes birthmarks might have a meaning. I heard that sometimes if you have cravings, your child will have a birthmark like a strawberry or a... But how about a hamburger? When I was pregnant with Claire, I had cravings for Burger King cheeseburgers. Big ones. <laughs> But she didn't have a burger on her. She did have a birthmark, but she'll tell you about that. And uh, that's quite a unique story. Um, my youngest son had a birthmark right by where, well, say your pants go up and your diaper hooks <laughs> together up on the front. Up here. And, uh, it was a big old mark. It didn't look like anything but a big mark. And when he would have his diaper on, people would go, Oh, what's the matter? Is something leaking? No, it's just his skin. Just his birthmark. Now, my other son, I don't believe he has a birthmark either. By the way, he's an Aries like his mother. I wonder if Aries people don't get birthmarks. <laughs> Um, and I've heard of some kids that have, that are, when they're being born, they have to use those forcep things to pull them out. They don't have a, a mark on their head, but I don't, that's not a birthmark though. That's a, it's a mark from those things. I know I would have never made a doctor. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to remember all those technical terms, forceps or puller outers. So, have you ever thought about changing? Uh, we all possess magic. I want to know if your uh, uh, birthmark might possess the magic. I think we all have magic in us. In fact, I think we all have superpowers we don't know how to use. I do. Because I think when a bunch of people are all together and they think positive, positive happens. If they're a bunch of mad people, then it gets worse and worse. But you got to have that positive to jump in there, split up the negative. I've gotten way off track from birthmarks, but I don't have anything to share. I have a mark on my face under my makeup, kind of, but it, it just, it's an old age mark. Or an age mark. Because I had, I've had it for a while. All right. Well, I mean, that's all I got to say about birthmarks.
Go watch it. Creepy Corners um, page, and uh, she'll tell you about her fun birthmark. Yeah, you'll be very interested in that. And what have I been doing? No oh, crafts and sewing some stuff for a neighbor and working in the yard and staying away from kids. Alrighty. Have a great, great day and go, go pick up some trash. And you can take a picture of this and put it in your room as a trophy for picking up trash. Alright. <laughs> Toodly do. Ta ta. Farewell. And just in case you forget what trash and a trash can looks like, there you go. Bye. <laughs> I know, I'm a little bit crazy.